welcome back, a Fred in the Shed 2 video, another kind of preview video. Um, I hope you like these videos, I just like to show you what's coming up a few weeks in advance, because that's generally how I work these days. So this one is all about this radio here, which is the Bofang K5 Plus. It's a nice little radio that's been sent in from Banggood, a cheap radio. £23 plus delivery, would you believe? And it has a very nice colour screen, which is which is nice. I've programmed it in Chirp, no problem. So I'm going to use it as a dark side radio. As you know, that's, what, that's how I, I roll. So I've got it with the PMR channels on the bottom frequency, and I've got the aircraft on the top frequency. It's got a few shortcomings when the way it works, and also you notice the screen doesn't stay on unless you have it switched on all the time and then that has an effect on the battery so it, it, but it's, it's a decent radio for 26 quid you'll see all that in the full review it'll be a long video and i think that it's really a kind of reincarnation it's an updated version of the famous uv5 or uv5r in this case you can see the button layouts are exactly the same but they've been a bit crafty because they've um, jumped on the quansheng the Crankshang um, car, if you like, because they've copied some of the details, like the speaker grill is classic Crankshang, and the tuning knob that is exactly the same. So it's sort of a cross between the two designs. I mean, overall, it's a very nice little radio for £26 delivered. I mean, it's, it's crazy, really. Um, is it as Use, is it as good as the Crankshank? Mm, no, I'm not sure, really. It's got it's got its benefits. But what I want, what I want to show you on this video <clears throat> is something that's quite strange. When you watch the full review, you'll notice that I've, I get so far into the video, I've, I've had this radio kicking about, I've charged it up, I've reprogrammed it in Chirp, been playing with it, and I've not noticed this glaring fault on the radio. And whilst I'm doing the review and like I said I've had it for a couple of days and I'm just playing about with it I suddenly notice the fault and it, it's quite a, a, a eureka moment and once once you see the fault on this radio and I've checked and it's on all of the radios how the hell it ever got through quality control I don't know but once you once you've seen it you can't unsee it and I'm a little bit OCD anyway the Mrs Fred will tell you that so yeah it doesn't affect the performance of the radio but it's kind of a little odd quirk and uh, so what I'm going to do just on this video is it's Fred in the Shed 2 in a moment I'm going to zoom into the radio and just let the video play for a minute and when you spot it what I'm talking about I'm not going to tell you what it is in this video you'll see it in the main video but when you spot it just let me know in the comments the little fault and I'll tell you now I'll tell you now once you've seen it you cannot unsee it it's one of those it's one of those things if you can't spot it, well, people will tell you in the comments anyway, but you'll, you'll, you'll hear it on the main review. So, yeah, that's this. This is the little radio that uh, I'm playing with at the moment. I've got some shortwave stuff to go uh, to go back to in a moment as, as well. So I hope you're all OK. Um, there's still a lot of colds about, so um, we're not quite out of the cold season yet, but I hope you're all staying uh, nice and warm. It's, what is it, late March when I'm making this video? And uh, the weather's starting to pick up a little bit. We've got a bit, it's a bit sort of showery and uh, cold in the UK, but it's it's getting there. We're getting into spring and uh, everyone's feeling a little bit better. Anyway, enough talking, even for Fred too. So I'll zoom in on this. Let me know in the comments when you, when you spot it. But please, please, please look after each other for me. Take care. Thumbs up from Fred. As always, thank you for tuning in. Do really appreciate your views. And... Uh, Here's a close-up of the Bofang radio. Just let me know in the comments, all right? Cheers. Mm -hmm. 